Jim, just give us your post-match thoughts on that one this afternoon. I thought it was a commendable effort from the team, Greg, to be honest. Um, to go behind early in the game. Um, you know, in a, in, a, in a disappointing fashion for us as a team. Um, could have went a lot differently, but I thought the team rallied. and I thought we showed real bravery, Greg. I, I think the day was quite tough. I think you guys stood here now. The wind out here at pitch level, I think the dryness of the pitch, and you could see um, how how hot the pitch was in terms of the ball just wouldn't settle on it, which made it challenging for the players. A lot of them have commented on that. I think it almost felt, yeah, like pitch-wise, I, th I think this is a very expensive pitch that Oldham have, have put in, so it's 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 amazing, actually. Um, but I think at the moment, it just, it's, 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 a bit, it's a bit bobbly and whatnot, and the firmness of it, um, was just a, was just a bit of a factor in the in trying to settle the ball down. I thought that's a that's a factor that kind of um, affected the game a little bit for us with the style that we try and play. Uh, not so much for Oldham because I thought you know um, they're much more direct than us with their strategy for the day, um, which is which is it's football. It's you know you have to face a lot of different types of strategy. But I, I felt like obviously the ball doesn't bobble in the air, um, but it does on the ground, which. Uh, it made it made it tough for us to try and play the way we want to play. But taking all that in, Greg, um, I think we were really brave. We really stuck to our plan. We really continued with it. There was a belief from the team that they could keep going. Um, I think as the game grew, I thought we did. I thought we were the team um, that looked like as the game was opening up, um, we'd become dangerous. Other than a couple of breakaways, and I know they hit the post with. Um, it, it was long balls really landing within our, our danger zone and, and they were hopeful of just getting something uh, like um, second phase, second phase shots whereas we were trying to create goals over and over again and I do commend the team for that as the conditions were tough and I think Greg um, when we reflect on the game I think some of our final third choices we, prob we probably will um, regret and definitely learn from because I think the game was there for us. Uh, terrible. We had chances also to go and win the game, which you which you'll have seen. But there was even more moments I think once we got to the final third where we just have a calmness and make a better decision. I think the game could have been totally different for us. We just talked about the the goal that we did score. Was that a planned routine from the corner? It kind of scraped its way in the end. But was it was it something that you've worked on at all? It was. We copied Man City. Yeah, we've got City. Straight from here, we've seen it. Where we wanted to do it, we waited for the right moment to do it. Um, and yeah, I was, I was, I was delighted when it went in because they don't always come off. But yeah, it was, yeah, it was a direct copy of something that we've seen, seen in a big game, and got excited about, and decided to try it ourselves. It came off perfect execution, and a lot of moving parts in it, all done their job, and they're really pleasing, Greg, and that um, that dragged us back into the game and, and lifted our belief again. I know you commented uh, it might have been the game it was the last game about sort of defending set pieces and how well pleased you've been with that aspect and it, at the other end as well it, it's paying off of course yeah it is um, a lot of work goes into them it always does they don't always pay off uh, but the level of detail and work that goes into them um, never does really change and the execution isn't always perfect today it was in, in a big local derby um, when the game was super tight and uh, you know we were all really pleased because you should be. You work on them as much as you work on your phases of play, you know, um, defending your box, anything. Um, they're a massive moment in the game. And when you work hard on, on what you feel may be a potential vulnerability and you score a goal, it's a great feeling. So that was a good moment for the team. Big boost to have Cairo being able to name Cairo in the starting line, not just for today, but you've got him for the games that he was supposedly going to miss as well. Just a rightful decision, Greg. Um, we call it a big boost, but it really shouldn't be a boost. It should just be... Uh, as I say, justice. To be honest, it was it was a shocking decision from the referee, and that could have derailed us uh, morale rise morale wise in the last game. And the players played all those minutes, a man down at home, and done what we done in the last minute, which was amazing as a team, as a football club, all of us, everyone in the stadium. Um, but Cairo being sent off as a complete injustice. When you watch it back, it was it was awful to watch. Um, but I'm really happy with the, the retrospective uh, judgment that the league made. I was concerned because they never seem to get overturned, even when you, you can't you can't see how they won't. But really, with that one, you can't see how it would. Oh, man. That's a big boost to have Cairo back. Um, he had his moment there today where 
he almost won the game for us. He had to he had to persist on a tough day, as I said, a challenging day. But Craig, it's a local derby. You know, the guys were carrying some anxiety in the performance, I think, as well, because they just want to do so well for the fans. They, we sold out our allocation 1700. They sung all day. You want to give that return. Again, I think the fans will definitely be happy with the return on effort. The team fought again. The team went down again. The team came back in, in our enemy stadium. We went and grew and controlled the game. Got ourselves a draw. Got a bit more. But what was the final three games now starting on Tuesday? What do you kind of want to see in those last three games this cup bit? Uh, I want to see my team, Greg. That's what I want to see. I want to see my team playing our way with bravery, um, committing to uh, our principles like we have done all season, committing to fighting, uh, giving everything like we have done all season, um, committing to the training grounds. And, you know, I think we, we have to... I don't know how things have gone today. I don't know permutations for the league. I don't, I don't know any of that because um, it's still early. Um, you know, but a, a true commitment, a true commitment. But at the core of all that, a true commitment to like what we're trying to be and how we play our football. Because that's the most important thing to me, how we play our football.